find myself listening to beautiful music and feeling my spirits lifted in a way that I can't explain. I looked out my window and I saw a beautiful moon that had a yellow tint to it and it was huge. I could see it between the trees. I just ran outside and looked at the moon and said, you're so beautiful. I spoke to the moon as if it were my own mother. And then I looked up to the sky to see the stars. And something amazing happened. For the first time, when I looked at those stars, I found myself seeing them beautiful, like I was connected to each one. I could see how the world was connected to the stars, how the stars made an impact on our personality, from the zodiac signs to beyond astrology, how everything really was interconnected, how the moon was connected to the earth and how it was connected to the stars. And for once, I didn't feel like I was isolated on this planet, looking to the stars, wishing, wondering what was out there was out there in those bright dots in the sky. They were personalities, they were energies, and I saw how it was all connected together. And how the earth was a part of that. How I was a part of that. It's really an amazing thing to see. To know that everything is connected. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything. And I am a part of that. My choices affect the universe. The way that things will change and how they will grow. That I am a part of this, this connection. <laughs> I may just be a drop in the ocean, but I am a drop that sends a ripple across the ocean that will go so far just like the wings of a butterfly can cause a hurricane or a tsunami or a storm of some kind. So can our actions and the way that we look at life. It was like I just saw how all the energies of the universe really do come together. They speak a language. And there are so many messages. <laughs> we are part of that. Today, I read a book, it's called Courageous Souls, and it talks about if we plan our challenges before birth, and it really resonated with me, especially a lot of the stuff that was talked about, and I thought about how what I went through last year, it was like I had a choice at one point. And I could have chosen a different 
path and this one that is so uplifting I had so many voices in my head telling me you're taking the easy road but finally it was like why is wanting to be happy wrong why does that make me weak why is wanting to just enjoy my life and live it to the fullest an unnoble cause And it just so happens that I do want to do things to improve this universe. And it's a new path for me, I think. Maybe the first time ever in all of my lives, at least on this earth. I may have done it in other life planets, but on this earth, I think it's the first time that I've incarnated and chosen a path of so much happiness, fun, love and joy. I think I've probably always been spiritual, but I remember when I went to this retreat recently, um, Karis asked us, or she did a meditation on the Akashic Records, and she asked us to just intuitively trust that we would get whatever was the most important for our life purpose now for us to see. And when I went to my Akashic Records, the first thing that appeared was me in this kind of like cave, but it was like where you would expect to see bald eagles living or something, like way up in the, in the mountains, like the canyons and stuff and and I just saw myself walking through there and feeling like I lived a very isolated life. Like I just was an isolated person. I don't know why, if I was a bird or what. But I think I just lived an isolated life and I just wonder about that. I just wonder about that. And I wonder why I was shown that. But it kind of makes me think, you know, maybe this is new for me. Maybe all of this is new for me. Meeting so much of my soul family and going down such an empowering life, but <clears throat> Megan saw a rainbow in my aura and she was like, you're a rainbow child. And I thought, well, you know, I've seen a lot of rainbows in my aura recently, like the color and stuff. and. And I've been very pulled towards that energy. But I thought, there's no way because I'm not young enough. I'm, they're being born like now-ish. <laughs> and I'm almost 20. So, you know, that I don't think that really can apply to me. And also the things I'd read is that they come with no karma and they're... You know, it's just very easy for them to love people and stuff like that. And I'm like, I would love to be that way, but I don't think that I am. And then I realized that, like, what I went through last year, I'm pretty sure that I kind of, like, birthed a new me. And the old me moved on. And um, in the book that I'm reading, A Courageous Soul, they talked about walk-ins where the person, actual body, and maybe even the emotional structures and the memories of that person is, are the same, but that a different soul takes place. I think mine might be a little bit different because I feel like that the newer soul was always there within me, but was just like a seed that hadn't been, that hadn't grown yet, that hadn't manifested and maybe never would have if I hadn't wanted it to. But when it did, I just feel like, I find myself laughing all the time and just such a lighthearted laughter and feeling this excitement and joy for just life. And it's never like, Oh my God, I can't wait for what happens. It's like, I love life right here, right now. 
and I don't care what happens tomorrow. It's not, it doesn't have like a, I'm happy because I know I'm going to get this brand new car type thing to it. It's like, I'm happy right now, and I'm so happy right now, and I love life so much right now. I'm like, it's like I'm here, but I'm living in heaven. And um, so I don't know. I found that very interesting. It feels like the spirit of a rainbow child for sure. But I don't always connect with that. Like it, sometimes I'm the old me with all these old energetic structures and thought processes and stuff. And I was just sitting outside on the porch talking to the moon, which I do <laughs> sometimes. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I have these fears that I don't know what to do with. And Moon was like, well, do what you know what to do. Face them. And I was like, but I kind of was hoping that I would be able to just be past all of that. Because the thing about some things, what I've noticed with the psyche is a lot of times, take grieving, take yeah, grieving, or your certain fears that you may have. If you have them as a habitual type thing, like a fear that you've had for many years, or um, or a deep loss, sometimes you can't get over it overnight. Even if you have like a huge epiphany and you realize that it, you don't have to feel that way anymore, Sometimes the process is just a slow daily every day. You put in effort every day. And I was kind of being shown that that was what was going on with this particular fear. That I just need to face it whenever it came and work through it. And I was like, oh, I was hoping that I, I wouldn't have to, you know, work through this karma. And then it was like, I'm because I'm feeling like. The, if that's the old me's karma. Why do I have to still work through it if it is kind of like a new soul type thing? And I just instantly got in my mind, well, you agreed to it. You wouldn't have awakened within this body and this emotional structure and this karma. You agreed to it. You agreed to balance out the energy and work through it. So, yeah. So I guess that's just part of it. Definitely. And I don't know if anyone else has experienced that. My mom pointed out that when you get saved as a Christian, they say that a new you is born. I never really paid much attention to that because I was like, okay, yeah, blah, 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 Christianity. <laughs> Didn't have very much, I don't know, connection with that. But then last year, that was the only thing I could turn to. And so I invited God back into my life. And I had like a very, 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 very real connection with Jesus. Like he was my best friend. It wasn't even... I don't know. I, I knew him. He was a real friend of mine. And I've had a connection with him. And... And I had a real connection with God, too. And that's what connected me with the higher power. So, yeah, I'm not... And and even then, it was like, I'm not going to be sucked into any one religion. Like, all of it has truth. But I have to follow what I'm led to follow within me. Like, it's all based around the same higher power or... It's like a crystal. It has many different sides and facets to it. And each one has its own nice flavor to it. And some people prefer chocolate over vanilla, but it's still, you know, ice cream, <laughs> I guess. That is the best way to put it. But it's, it all is perfect. Whatever you choose to believe is, is good. Like, you can even be atheist. It's all good. It's, there's no right or wrong. It's all about what's right for you. This is just my personal opinion, but yeah, I, oh, wow, it's very interesting. I, I would definitely suggest if you, anyone was interested, read Courageous Souls. Um, it's the book that I keep on talking about, Courageous Souls, and it's by Robert Schwartz. Do we plan our life challenges before birth? It's, 
I've really enjoyed it. I don't know. I was in the books. I was in the um, bookstore. And every time I would see it, it would just stand out clearly to me. And it was like, you need to get this. You need to get this. You need to get this. And I was like, I don't want to get this. I don't have any reason to get this. I don't know why I would get it. And then finally I was like, fine, I will get it. <laughs> because I guess that my intuition was like, you need to do this. You know you need to. So just do it. And when I did, I'm really glad that I did. It's a wonderful book. And it's been opening my eyes a lot more again. So check it out if you want to. Um, yeah. So also in more recent news, I will be hosting a retreat soon with a friend. Well, actually two friends. So I'll keep you guys posted with that. Um, it's going to be in North Carolina and there will possibly be hot springs and a lot of fun. It's going to be empowerment through creativity that's the main premise but there will be reiki initiations possibly yoga f healthy food um ecstatic dance art it's gonna be fun and whoever feels called to come then come and if you don't then don't worry about it because i totally think it's all about whether the spirit moves you or not that's what my life path has been bringing me towards more and more. What are you moved towards? What feels right with your intuition? So, <sighs> well, I guess I will talk with you guys later and just wanted to share some insights and stuff. <laughs> Take care.